Welcome to the Report for Tiger Mountain, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with Mr. Tim Wilms, the man himself, the Shackled, the creator. How are you, sir? I'm good. Uh, it's good to finally be able to film and direct you on location again. Exactly, on location again, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to talk, the two of us, tonight, so just stick around and listen. A special report from Tiger Mountain. Tim, so here we are, back together again after all this time. How have you been? What's been going on in your world for the last, you know, how long has it been since we caught up in person? Four months? Four, Four months. months? Well, not much because of the, the it felt yeah. like it was never going to end, the never-ending lockdown. The never-ending lockdown. Because last time we filmed on location was uh, Dan Andrews announced the first six-week stage three lockdown. The flatten the curve. Oh, yes, the... <laughs> Six weeks to flatten. Well, it was two weeks originally to flatten the curve, and uh, then it was six weeks, and then it's been what nine months to flatten the curve. How are we doing in the flattening of the curve department, man? Well, is Australia is now pretty much uh, virus free, apart from PizzaGate in South Australia. What happened there? Tell us a little bit about. Yes, that's this topic. It was, I've been meaning to talk about South Australia, but I'm no expert, so this is a good topic for this report. Tell us a little. What happened in South Australia? Well, basically, the, the virus escaped from hotel quarantine. A, ah, that a, again. Yeah, a cleaner... Was uh, it, uh, you know, diverse um, security was responsible? Or? Um, well, a cleaner uh, contracted it from a surface uh -huh. and spread it to their large family, which I think uh -huh. that cluster grew, grew to... The way uh, celebrating Eve? 17. <laughs> Well, it's actually the, 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 the festival at the moment, it's a special time for Hindus. Hindus! One of, one of the, the Hindu festivals was listed as a, this time, as, a, as a location. You've got to watch uh, those uh, Hindus, ladies and gentlemen, got to watch them. Uh, for <laughs> people if they've been there to, to get tested. But uh, going on to, to Pizzagate. Yes. Uh, so, so Pizzagate, we're, no, we're not talking about the one over in Washington, we're talking about Pizzagate 2, which is a kind of funny nickname we're giving to this event in South Australia, is that right? Pizzagate 2020, Pizzagate South Australia. Oh, I see, what happened there? So, yeah. so someone... a security guard who contracted it from the cleaner worked uh -huh. at this pizza place, yes. gave it to another worker there who also worked hotel quarantine security at another hotel. Ah. And he originally told the, the contact tracers that he only picked up a pizza there. I just picked uh, it up? Uh, because he was on a, a student graduate visa and so was most likely oh, working... Yeah. So he's a foreign student. ...illegally. Yeah, yeah. What he is it with he, all these foreign students? He, he was a Spaniard though, 36 year old Spaniard. The Spanish? Yes. Oh, the Spanish flu, ladies and gentlemen, you always got to watch them. He could be connected to Franco, maybe it's the fascists, who knows? Uh, so he to because he told the contact tracers that he only picked up a pizza, they, uh, they said the, the South Australian authorities, the Three Stooges, the Liberal Premier Stephen yep. Marshall, the Chief Health Officer, uh, Professor Nicholas Spurrier and the Police Commissioner Grant Stevens yep. that this was a new super strain of virus because it was spreading super on... Super strain? Yeah, on pizza boxes. Oh. And did it have anything to do with the supercomputer? Not that we know. Well, yes, they did have their own supercomputer. Really? What is, uh, that? is that? Nicholas the, Spurrier said that... Is that the uh, Commodore, you know, 64? Yeah, or that if they like didn't have this, uh, well, it's going to be six days, but three-day circuit breaker lockdown then they'd have a 99 percent chance of having a second wave wow so what happened did they lock the state down for three days thank you uh, only three, three days, days so it was three days to flatten the curve we're yeah. getting better it's, it's... circuit breaker or then they said it was a pause a pause yes but then they didn't and i heard too that they were going to ban um kind of like alcohol at one stage and that almost caused a revolution is this right yes it was uh, in, in all the confusion because they gave yeah. the people of south australia 12 hours notice that yep. they were going to shut down everything, everything. including takeaway, yep. ban exercise, uh -huh. they even can't even walk the Nothing. dog. Nothing, yep, yep. So, they, they ha and in the confusion, yep. uh, the bottle shops are going to be closed, but of course, uh, that was the, the first backflip <laughs> of that, because... Yes. It was still an unprecedented lockdown, even yes. worse than ours. Even Dear uh, globalists, you know, if you're going to lock us up, you can lock us up for probably three to six months. Don't close the bottle shops. You do, you've, you've got a serious revolution on your hands, don't you think? If you close the bottle shops here? You well, I, th I think they satirised that possibility mm -hmm. on the recent Howzos versus Virus. Oh, I love, I love uh, Howzos. I haven't actually seen any of the new episodes yet, because I never watch mainstream TV outside of occasionally just switching it on to annoy myself. But like, um, I think if you were saying Howzos is on uh, 7? Yeah, 7 mate. 7 mate? Well, I'm going to check that out this week. And I'll probably do a special report on it, because I love Paul Fennick. And um, uh, I've, I've actually been in a short film with 
the, the woman who plays the uh, who plays the you know, oi, what's her name? I can't remember the actress's name, but she's fantastic. Uh, Ellie Dor. Ellie Dor. Shazza, she's fantastic. Yeah, I've been in a short with her, and she's a really nice person. She's not like that at all. So she's acting. Um, she's quite a sweet girl, and she's actually quite attractive, actually, and um, uh, she's fantastic. So it's very good, very good. Yes, they had in, in Hazos the, the Premier, who was uh, unnamed, but uh, reminded me quite a bit of uh, uh, Dan Andrews with his... Uh, Channeling Chairman Dan. Uh, threats of fines and, and locking down the, uh, the whole state based on... Oh. Well, we, we have a population here in Victoria of 6.8 million. Mm -hmm. Uh, just over 20,000 contracted the coronavirus here. Mm -hmm. Eight, 819 sadly died with COVID, not, not, from, of it, yeah. not from COVID. Yeah. Uh, How many died of it, we don't know. No, we'll, it's we'll, a great we'll, we'll never know. No. But uh, yes. Probably 10% of that, maybe 80. We've finally got our some freedom back. We're, uh, we're free again. Now, how long is this going to last for? Tim? What you, what's your predictions? Well, it's it's already a scorching hot summer. It is, even though we're not uh, officially in summer yet. Oh, which and how can they fake a you know pandemic during you know the fact that no one ever gets the flu in summer in Australia? So you know, no vir virus frying weather, uh, I call exactly. it. Exactly. We can go into state now. Yep. We can flee. Uh, Dan and Andrews, uh, Victoria now. Yep, yeah, I'm doing that. By uh, the way, you have a Christmas. I'm getting the fuck out of this state for a little while. Uh, and uh, don't have to wear the masks all the time now. The, Good. So you can. Breathe. Breathe. We can breathe again. I hardly ever obeyed that law. Breathe, anyway, breathe, breathe, breathe. don't tell anyone, ladies and gentlemen. I hardly ever obeyed that law, except when I went into shops because I, I do it for other people. Um, but you know what's incredible too is in, I often exercise uh, in the area around here, and I've shot some reports. I won't say where it is, but um, it's a very nice green area. It's mainly full of upper middle class white people, and uh, they're still wearing the masks when they're running, they're jogging, they're still wearing a mask, and they're still like they're riding bikes, and they're still like now. Like I went yesterday and there, like at least half the people were still doing those activities and wearing masks. Well, they don't have to. I've noticed it's less and less now. More and more people sure. are getting yep. the, the memo yep. now that yep. they can breathe the, uh, the fresh air. But some are enjoying the slavery. I've noticed women like it. Have you noticed that? You know, bit of 50 shades of grey, ladies and gentlemen, you know. I wish Christian Grey had come around and, you know, put the gag on him, I think. <laughs> well, what I noticed is uh, that most of them are from the, the boomer uh, demographic, yes. yep. and they have been probably the the most enthusiastic uh, compliers yep. of the the, the lockdown. The, yep. the hippies of Woodstock. Uh, That's true. Uh, stick it to the man at Woodstock in '69, even though there was the deadly Hong Kong flu there. But That's now, true. biggest uh, bootlickers and uh, wagging their finger wagging their at, at uh, people who are not in their homes 24/7. Exactly. What are your plans uh, for for summer? Um, I think we're going to we're going to scale activities back a little bit so we, we can say that you know have a little bit of a break over Christmas, you know, because we can't constantly be in permanent uh, crisis, can we? <laughs> well, uh, obviously Let's find out who wins the election. Yeah, obvi obviously uh, when we had the, the stage four lockdown, yep. I was in the, the, the bunker yep. broadcasting. I couldn't go, couldn't go anywhere, anywhere else. I just had to make sure that I didn't yep. say anything that would get the uh, Chief Wiggum, our yep. uh, uh, Assistant Police Commissioner, uh, bashing down my door and causing an earthquake in no. my uh, home. But yeah, got, got, got through yep. that now. And well, we worked out that, you know, you, you basically you, you have a freedom of speech, but you don't promote. No one promoted these uh, various protests. I never promoted them, and uh, you know, obviously, that seemed to be the thing that upset the authorities. So, um, you know, you stayed away from that. So, what are your plans over over summer? You're gonna, um, you going anywhere? You're gonna have a holiday? Yeah, I, I certainly plan to travel. Take advantage of. You don't know. Uh, what freedom you have until you lose it and then you appreciate it more when you, you well, get it back. I think Australia, obviously, as people who are pro-Australian and patriots and, and people who are pro-nationalists, this is a great time for an Australian holiday. It seems like our borders are going to be open. Maybe not with Western Australia, but most other countries, maybe even with Western Australia. It's a good time for an Aussie holiday, ladies and gentlemen, and um, hopefully we can fly within Australia uh, without a vaccine. You know, we've got the vaccine coming. What's your thoughts on the vaccine? Well, at least we have, uh, we're going to have lots of choices for the mandatory yes. as possible vaccine. So you well, can I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait, like with the royal family. You know, mm -hmm. maybe whatever one the royal family take, because they probably won't be taking the one they say they get, but maybe the one Donald Trump says he's, he's taken, you know. And I'll wait a little bit. I'll see how many people's arms and limbs and legs and feet fall off. And then the one that, you know, seems to have the less side effects, um, I guess I'll probably end up going with that simply because I want to travel overseas again, you know. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably be the same as Here that because Australia... See, we're not anti-vax. <laughs> Australia is pretty much a uh, vaccination. Uh, Dan yep. Andrews said there's no 
old normal without a vaccine. That's Scott it. Morrison, he was the one who said mandatory as possible. He said, yep. well, you will be able to travel overseas without a vaccine. You'll just have mandatory quarantine for 14 days when you get back. Yeah, I mean, clearly Daniel Andrews is with all the Great Reset bullshit, all that uh, nonsense. Apparently, yes, uh, Skymo was on television last night. He spoke out against the Great Reset. Did you Have you heard about this? No, I haven't heard about that. No, but, we'll have uh, to come back um, to you on that, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, uh, as, as far as I know, I mean, Scott Morrison, he's he was... He's uh, on board with it, it seems. Yeah. So it might have just been a false denial, like, oh, I didn't have sex with that woman, you know, like a Clinton thing. Or um, one person who did really speak out against the Great Reset was Pauline Hanson. Well, she and her fellow One Nation Senator Malcolm Roberts, they were the only two to vote against the Great Reset. Yep. There are only two politicians in this country who give a fucking shit about you, ladies and gentlemen, and there it is. Yeah. Pauline said she's not taking the vaccine. No. Well, I'm not taking it for a little while. I'm definitely going to try and leave it six months. If that means I have to put off any overseas trips for six months, so be it. Say la vie, ladies and gentlemen. So anything else we want to talk about? Oh, well, that's it. It's good to be uh, out and about. Welcome back. We've, we've had to We're shaking and, hands. Uh, Con contactless production to, contactless to use production. Uh, 2022. But we're you, back. You, you film them, you uh, send it to me through the internet, and then I edit them, upload them from the, the bunker. It. But now we can get it's together. It's a Tim and, and Richard production them. here at the report from Tiger Mountain. So thank you for watching and stick around for future reports. You know, they're coming your way. And there it is.